very often we have the goal of increasing the amount of joy and happiness in the world. And our guilt, a lot of times, can reduce that joy, cut it in half sometimes. Let me explain why. So I often talk on this channel about how altruism and selfless acts are really impossible. Just because of the way we are wired, they're not something that we can do because we will always get some kind of a reward for the things that we do. So if I'm kind to someone, I get the reward of feeling good. And so the example I'll use is a very um, common, shall we say, uh, possibly overused one, but it gets the point across. So I go out and I help an old lady across the street. For whatever reason, she is having difficulty with the crosswalk or whatever. I'm not going to judge what's going on with this old lady. She needs to get across the street, so I help her. At the other side of the street, the lady is happy and grateful, assuming that she wanted to cross the street and I didn't just abduct her and put her on the other side of the street, so, right? So assuming that she wanted it, she is happy and grateful on the other side of the street. And that feeling that she gets for that good deed being done for her is not changed by why I did it. So it doesn't matter what my reasons were. In her world, she got from one side of the street to the other side, and this sometimes scary looking bald guy was the one who helped her. Okay, great. That's fantastic. So there are two joys possible and well really that happened in this scenario. There is hers for a good deed being done for her and there is mine which is excuse me um me having done a good deed and feeling that joy and pride for it. So denying myself that that feeling of joy and pride does not improve her experience. So if I am completely emotionless about the whole thing, it doesn't change how she feels about it. She feels like she was helped. She had a good positive experience. If I think I'm king of the world because I helped her, it still does not change her experience. Her experience is still, this guy helped me across the street and that was wonderful. So understanding that, we can say that it's okay to accept that we act in our own self-interest when we do good things for other people because that is the truth of the matter we wouldn't have any motivation to do good deeds except that we receive some kind of uh, reward in the for form of joy and pride and um, whatever uh, could be whatever that feeling is for you but you get that feeling and it doesn't matter if you did the good deed so that you could get that feeling or if you say, well, I did the good deed so I could help this old lady across the street. Well, again, why did you do it? You're going to get that feeling anyways. You know you're going to get that feeling because you've done good deeds before. You know how it feels to do a good deed. And so your brain says, I want that reward. Let's go get that reward. So to feel guilty for feeling this joy over a good deed it discourages you from doing another good deed. So if I help this old lady across the street and I'm like, man, I am the best. And then I go, oh, shoot, I shouldn't feel that. I should, be, I should feel guilty about feeling good just because I did a good deed. Well, now the next time I see an old lady who needs to be walked across the street, it's not going to be something that is as enticing to me. I might be in a little bit more of a hurry that time because I don't want to feel that guilt. I, I want to feel good. And so by feeling guilty, 
I am preventing future instances of allowing myself to feel good and helping other people feel good. So I'm putting less good out into the world. But even in that one instance, that one instance of helping the lady across the street, if I feel guilty for it, what have I just done? I have cut the overall joy put out into the world in half. So she still feels good. She's still happy because she got helped. But now I feel guilty. So now instead of two people feeling good, we have one person who feels good and one person who feels guilty. And what is the point of that? What is the point of cutting the amount of joy in the world in half just so you can feel guilty? Unless you feel a sense of pride for your guilt, in which case, work on that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and be sure to hit the like button. It helps me be seen by other people who might be helped by this. Have a great day.